morning everybody. It is the morning of Tuesday the 16th of Jan, but this is my carnivore diet day 15 update. I had some I had something come up last night I wasn't able to record, but I thought I would just do it first thing this morning to catch up because I need to do day 15's update. So big update from yesterday was um, I put on put like according to the scale I put a load of weight back on. Um, I think though what's happened is, is sometimes my scale is a bit wonky and every once in a while it just does some sort of random reading and it, I mean I can't believe anything else I can't believe I like lost a pound overnight and then gained it back the next night it just doesn't it seems really odd to me that something like that would happen so I'm chalking it up to maybe something was wrong with the scale but um, anyway I'm sort of back on track to where I was before so still losing kind of you know one or two tenths every day sort of thing which is much more the pace that I would expect so um, that's that was that uh, back better on the diet so no cheating uh, on, on, on yesterday which was good uh, if anything I don't know I settled around I think about 1500 calories yesterday maybe just just pushing 1600 which at the end of the day was okay some of that was from peanut butter which I I'm trying to weed out as much as I can, so we'll see how I get on with that. But I think if I'm gonna have peanuts or peanut butter, I think the ro just the roasted salted peanuts is probably the best way to go because then there's nothing added to it. It's literally just the peanut. Whereas with the peanut butter, there, there are some extra additives and stuff like that in it. So still working on trying to, trying to be better about that. And what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, I've, I've had that sort of constipation problem as well creep up now. So it's been quite a few days um, since I've had a bowel movement. So last night before I went to bed, I took um, just a little bit of natural sort of laxative. So we'll see if that kind of helps because, yeah, it's, it's not that it's uncomfortable. It's just it feels like yeah, maybe need to just get everything back to normal. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. I'm, uh, I'll talk about a lot of things. T talking about pooping always makes me uncomfortable. So if I seem a little bit hesitant, that's all that is. But um, nobody needs to know about that. But it's part of the diet, right? Like, particularly when you do like a very low carb diet and you take all the carbs out and you're eating mainly meat, that is one of the things that happens. And you do, at least in my mind, it's one of the things you need to keep an eye on. What I've done in the past is I just, I, I use a natural sort of laxative that doesn't have any chemicals in it really, it's more of a, it's made from natural ingredients. And I find that those are quite, I, I, I just want something gentle to sort of help move things along, I guess, as opposed to something that's, you know, chemically and, and potentially quite, you know, savage. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't need to go to those lengths yet. So I think everything will be fine. I just, I assume, that, I mean, more what, two weeks into the diet now. So I assume that after another couple of weeks, all that stuff will sort itself out. My gut biome will have rebuilt itself and it'll be a lot better. And then everything will start to work normally. Like the, the bad breath and halitosis have basically gone away. So I don't, I'll have to ask my wife, but I don't really notice it as much anymore. So that's a good thing as well, I think. The only time I do notice it, funnily enough, is when I have milky, like if I have a lot of milk, um, it, and this goes along with what I was saying about the milk tasting funny, it's almost like it tastes sour, and then I feel like I have kind of bad breath after that, so I don't know if I'm just going off milk altogether, um, or not, I don't know, I still like it in a, in a drink in the morning, and one at night, but I'm pretty much off milk during the day all day whether i drink tea with a bit of caffeine or i have some peppermint tea or something like that so that's where we are um steps were just over four thousand yesterday body fats around the same so yeah just on an even keel at the minute just trying to just keep going on the diet and see uh, how things are going so that's pretty much the update for today and i'll see you later tonight well, that's the update for yesterday, and then I'll see you later tonight with the update for today. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.